Okay, today we have nine more gates of Zadi. Now, what I brought last week were two gates that had strictly to do with the, the relationship between Zadi and Tav, the direct descent of awareness into the physical body. These nine gates are about the relationship between Zadi and that hidden path between Malkuth and Gebura, one's own relationship to one's own power and to power in general. Okay? So there are four quadrangles, four pentangles, and one hexangle. Okay, our first gate 141 is a quadrangle. And it begins in <coughs> Netzach, follows Saudi, I mean, yes, followed Saudi down to Malkuth, takes that hidden path up to Gebura, goes along Aleph to Gejula, and down Venus into Netzach. Okay? Now, this gate is all about the strength of your compassion. Okay? And in working this gate, you can increase the strength of your compassion and purify the compassion within your heart. Okay? The second gate, gate number 142, is also a quadrangle, and it begins in Netzach, followed Sadi down to Malkuth, takes that hidden path up to Gebura, and then the path of, of Virgo up to Tiferet and then that hidden path from Tiferet down to Netzach and of course back around. Now this gate is about self-rulership. Um, it's about control over oneself, the solitary self, the solitary self's rulership over one's own emotional nature. Okay. The next gate is gate 143, and it's our first pentangle. And it, again, goes from Netzach, down the path of Tzadi to Malkuth, up that hidden path to Gebura, up the path of Virgo to Tiferet, down the path of Leo to Gedula, and down the path of Venus to Netzach. And then, of course, back around. Now, <clears throat> this gate takes compassion to a higher level and roots it in the solitary self. So it's a much more universal compassion. It's not situational. Okay. The next gate, 144, is another quadrangle. And it begins in Netzach, follows Zadi to Malkuth, takes that hidden path up to Gebura, and then takes the path of Mars up to Bina, and the hidden path from Bina all the way down to Netzach, and then back around. Now, <clears throat> this is about self-preservation, and either anger and self-preservation, or an angry a response of anger to when um, self-preservation is challenged, or a response of fear to when the one's self-preservation is challenged. Now, Gebura, Gebura means strength, severity, but another name for Gebura is Pachad, which means fear. 
And so often, this relationship between Gevura and Malkuth can manifest as fear. When one is threatened, when one's own existence is threatened in some way. So here in this gate, we get to explore our responses of anger and fear and the source of them. Okay, because, well, either response is not necessary. There are higher uh, responses in the case of anger or fear. Okay, now next gate, 145, is another pentangle. And it begins in Netzach, follows Tzadi down to Malkuth, takes that hidden path up to Gebura, takes Mars up to Bina, takes Cancer down to Tiferet, and the hidden path from Tiferet down to Netzach, and then back around. Now, <clears throat> self-preservation is what this gate is about again. Now, self-preservation is a totally normal and natural um, response to the universe. What we have here in self-preservation is a more noble approach to self-preservation, to seeing that in the context that does not include fear or anger, okay, to where it is a noble instinct that one can um, pursue in a noble fashion, okay? Uh, next gate, 146, is another pentangle. And it begins in Netzah. Takes Tzadi down to Malkuth, Aquarius down to Malkuth, the hidden path up to Gebura, Mars up to Bina, Taurus up to Kether, and Kether all the way down to Netzach, and then back around. <clears throat> now, this is about anger, once again, but here it's a righteous anger. And you learn about the situations in which a righteous anger is important, and you learn the power of righteous anger. Sometimes it's the only um, logical response, <laughs> okay? Um, now, gate number 147 is our hex angle, and it begins, as usual, in Netzach, Follows Tzadi, Aquarius, down to Malkuth. Takes that hidden path up to Gibura. Takes Mars up to Bina. Takes Taurus up to Kether. And then takes the hidden path from Kether to Gajula. And then Venus down to Netzach. And then, of course, back around. <clears throat> now, this again relates to compassion. And it's really the highest level of compassion mixed with self-determination. <clears throat> ah, it's hard to put this. The, the best way to put it is uh, passionate service to others. So it's compassion, but with this supernal input, okay? Hmm. Hard to describe. Okay, the next to last gate is gate number 148, and it is a quadrangle. Oh. And it starts in Netzach, follows Tzadi to Malkuth, takes that hidden path up to Gebura, takes the hidden path from Gibura up to Kether, and then that hidden path from Kether 
all the way down to Netzach, and then back around. Now, probably the only way to describe this is it's the highest level of self-preservation, the highest, most noble aspect of self-preservation. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and our last gate here is gate 149, and it is a pentangle, and it begins in Netzel, follows Saudi down to Malkuth, takes that hidden path up to Gibura, hidden path from Gibura to Kether, hidden path from Kether to Gebula, follows Venus down to Netza, and then back around. Now, this is compassion at its highest level. Okay. Compassion at its highest level compassion for all the right reasons that is universal non-discriminatory compassion okay this is a very important gate to, per, to pursue okay so that's it for today next time we will finish off the gates of Saudi. until then bye bye